everyone, another story today. And I actually recorded this one like over a year ago, but I read it just again within the last couple of days. It's hilarious. So I thought I would re-record. It is entitled, Miss Nelson is Missing. It's by Harry Allard and James Marshall. The kids in room 207 were misbehaving again. Spitballs stuck to the ceiling. Paper planes whizzed through the air. They were the worst behaved class in the whole school. The teacher's like, oh my. Now settle down, said Miss Nelson in a sweet voice. But the class would not settle down. They whispered and giggled. They squirmed and made faces. They were even rude during story hour. And they always refused to do their lessons. Something will have to be done, said Miss Nelson. The next morning, Miss Nelson did not come to school. Wow, yelled the kids, now we can really act up. They began to make more spitballs and paper planes. Today, let's just be terrible, they said. Not so fast, hissed an unpleasant voice. A woman in an ugly black dress stood before them. I am your new teacher, Miss Viola Swamp and she wrapped the desk with her ruler. Where's Miss Nelson, asked the kids. Never mind that, snapped Miss Swamp. Open those arithmetic books. Miss Nelson's kids did as they were told. They could see that Miss Swamp was a real witch. She meant business. Right away, she put them to work and she loaded them down with homework. We'll have no story hour today, said Miss Swamp. Keep your mouth shut, said Miss Swamp. Sit perfectly still, said Miss Swamp. And if you misbehave, you'll be sorry, said Miss Swamp. Days went by and there was no sign of Miss Nelson. The kids missed Miss Nelson. police station. Maybe we should try to find her, they said. Some of them went to the police. Detective McSmog was assigned to the case. He listened to their story. He scratched his chin. Hmm, he said, hmm, I think Miss Nelson is missing. Detective McSmog would not be much help. Other kids went to Miss Nelson's house. The shades were tightly drawn and no one answered the door. In fact, the only person they did see was the wicked Miss Viola Swamp coming up the street. If she sees us, she'll give us more homework. They got away just in time. Aqua, water in Spanish. Maybe something terrible happened to Miss Nelson. Maybe she was gobbled up by a shark, said one of the kids, but that didn't seem likely. Sharks, very unpleasant. Ooh, look. <laughs> Maybe Miss Nelson went to Mars, said another kid, but that didn't seem likely either. I know, exclaimed one know-it-all. Maybe Miss Nelson's car was carried off by a swarm of angry butterflies. But that was the least likely of all. The kids in room 207 became very discouraged. It seemed that Miss Nelson was never coming back and they would be stuck with Miss Viola Swamp forever. They heard footsteps in the hall. Here comes the witch, they whispered. 
Hello, children, someone said in a sweet voice. It was Miss Nelson. Did you miss me, she asked. We certainly did, cried all the kids. Where were you? That's my little secret, said Miss Nelson. How about a story hour? Oh, yes, cried the kids. Miss Nelson noticed that during story hour, no one was rude or silly. What brought about this lovely change, she asked. That's our little secret, said the kids. Back home, Miss Nelson took off her coat and, and hung it in the closet right next to an ugly black dress. When it was time for bed, she sang a little song. I'll never tell, she said to herself with a smile. P.S. Detective McSmog is working on a new case. He is now looking for Miss Viola Swan. On the back of the book, it says, if all teachers looked as goofy as Mr. Marshall makes these two, the earth would never again have a truancy problem. The New York Times. <laughs> oh my gosh. Miss Nelson is missing. Great story. So what was Miss Nelson's secret? Was her secret that she was Miss Viola Swamp? Yes. She taught her students a lesson. Did the students know? No. But did the students learn to respect Miss Nelson and realize they had a wonderful teacher? It took Miss Nelson changing her attire and coming in as Miss Viola Swamp so that the kids would appreciate Miss Nelson. And what was the kid's secret? Their secret was they didn't want Miss Viola Swamp to come back, so they were going to be on their best behavior. If you like Miss Nelson is missing, please press like at the end, and I'll see you next time at Cindy Harper Speaks. Thanks for tuning in, and bye for now.